everybody, welcome to Timeless Food Art. I just want to show you these three pieces that I just got done varnishing. It is beautiful. And it is just as if I, you know, used resin. I did them yesterday. And actually, I let them, um, no, day before, I let them sit throughout the day. And then what I do is I cover them up with the parchment paper. So I have three here. I'll show you. Here's another one. You can tell, you can see the shat, the, um, the varnish. And then the final one I did. And I'm putting these, I, these are not going to stick, but I'm just using that just in case, because I just did do these. Ah. Uh, these are gorgeous. This one here, especially with the gold. Oh, love it. And then now I'm going to do three more, and you can watch how quick and easy it is to do. So, move these little suckers out of the way. And I'll pick three more to do because I have room for three more. Alrighty, let me get the third one up here. Okay, now all I do is I use aluminum pan, and I put that there, put my gloves on. I mean, it just, you really don't even need gloves, but you need when you move it around a little bit, so you have to have gloves. All right, I'll put my gloves on, and <clears throat> I need to open up my, I'm using... Liquitex varnish. It's actually Liquitex pouring medium, which ends up being like a varnish. And this is it. Let me sure you can see it. Okay. It's a pouring medium. I just do a couple turns like this to make sure it's. Oops. Let me get that out of the way. I also, I'll show you this real quick too. Here's another one I did. In the back side, I used contact paper. So it's really nice, I'll put my label here. And you can either put a sticker here or over here. Huh? Oh, no, leave it out. Uh, oh, here. You can put it right here. On the corner. Or you could put the label, I mean, the thing right here. And you put hang it on the wall. Now, I also got... Um, thank you, my lord. My coffee, my cafe fe, the afternoon delight. John makes his own mixture, and it's great. It's the best thing since sliced bread. And then, um, let me see if I put any other, yeah, this one here. Now this one here, my waterfall, I took that and used this side. And then I also received yesterday, which I had on order, these little hooks. Let me comes it's a push pin so you push it right into the wall and just hang it right up so you can have it show or uh, or not it's purely up to you all right let's get down to business this will take two seconds to do I'm gonna do three of them okay I pour a good amount but then I go around this way that way I make sure I have coverage there first before I start dripping it off And I go like that. <clears throat> Make sure my sides get covered. Alrighty. And I'm just gonna wipe it off here. Let me get this here. These are my cloths. 
little bit and just get that on there. I'll let this one slide a little bit over here. All right. And now this, this cloudiness you see is, that's totally normal. And then I don't see any bubbles, so I'm good to go. So now this will get over here to rest and dry overnight. And now I'm ready for number two. Let me just wipe my hands real here quick. See how quick that was. This is another one I love. And here we go. Pour it around. Make sure it covers the sides. This side already got covered. Go down this way. And if you find it's not enough coverage, you can always go back and do another one over it. I haven't needed to do that, but as quick as you can see, perfect. All right, now I started one yesterday. It was at the very end of that bottle, and I said, oh my God, it was so bumpy and lumpy. And I just went ahead and I did it with my new bottle. And there we go. And this will go up here. I have one little drippy over here, so I'll get that real quick. That's what I do later on. I make sure that's. I go back and I check for drips. You don't need to, but I do. And I try to catch them before I drop them on anything else. Okay, number three coming up. I mean, I could really go on and on, but I don't have enough room to dry all of them at one time. Okay, here's another one. Okie dokie. And board around. Make sure you got coverage enough. Then you go to the sides. Because you don't want to run out of, of the varnish and you haven't gotten your sides yet or the rest of your painting. You just do this. And I'm even done before my coffee even gets cold. And I check again my sides. Perfect. Wipe some of this off on the bottom. And I haven't tried to do these with the um, uh, contact paper on the bottom. I don't think that would look good because you still have to hold it on the bottom. And uh, all right, that's number three, done. Then you just take your gloves off, throw them away, take a little piece here, ditch it. You can clean up your area. And then you're ready to do a painting if I would if I had uh, more room. So I do want to let you see what I'm doing in between. And you just clean, clean your lid. So when you close it, you have nothing that's going to close it up permanently. Because if you do, it's very hard. And I've done six pieces and I'm not even halfway. So, then you move this. I'll let it dry right here. You can move it out of your way and boom. Now I'll show you what I have over here. Alrighty. Here's one. And by the way, when I show these tomorrow, it will be absolutely crystal clear. Just like the ones I showed you today. So, I hope it makes your life a little bit easier. Remember, it's Liquitex Pouring Medium. They sell it on, well, Michael's, any, any art shop, and, of course, on Amazon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll check you later. Bye-bye.